Thank you, Lord. We worship you, Father. Yes. Thank you, my Lord. Holy thunder, yes. Universe be so my savior go to the Worship you, Lord, in your presence. Mighty God, Lord. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. My soul, my Savior God, to Thee how great the world. Great Thou art. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Heavenly Father, we thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord. We love you, Father. We love you, Lord. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Mighty song. Blessed song. Oh, thank you, Father. My precious brethren, the people who are chose, chosen before the foundation of the world to hear the marvelous and marvelous word of God. I thankful to God for this. Now my friends, my brethren, I, I want to speak that Jews 144,000 will be baptized by the Holy Ghost under the ministry of Moses and Elijah that will going to come in Israel. So God will never and never allow to touch the Israel. You know, there is never will full scale war take place against Israel until 144,000 Jews will be sealed by God. For that I was today, I was watching one uh, uh, Jewish IDF soldier. He says that I am a believer of Jesus Christ. You see, in Israel I am talking that uh, video I will, I, I am going to attach to this uh, YouTube, in this YouTube that you can watch the uh, video of that IDF, Israel Defense Force, uh, one of the soldiers he speaks that boldly he speaks, I am the believer of Jesus, he said. That made my heart very, very joyful. Actually, uh, no doubt they, they, have not ex they are not in the message of Brother Branham. That is our Elijah. Brother Branham is our Elijah. Forget not. Brother Branham is Elijah for Gentiles. Brother Branham is not the Elijah for Israel, but Israel will going to receive the Elijah and Moses, both of the prophets, according to the Revelation chapter 11, two witnesses, they are none other than Moses and Elijah. The Moses and Elijah will going to appear in Israel and they will preach the same gospel. What gospel we have heard through William Branham will be going to be heard by the Jewish people because that will be going to take place. And I heard from that soldier, Ma, he is saying, testifying that I am the believer of Jesus, he said. So my dear brothers and sisters, where we are today, don't joke, don't, don't be unbeliever. Take, take the Bible and take the word of God, take the message of Brother Branham. Take that and go march on. And, and I tell you, this is great joy to our soul. <clears throat> So nobody can deny this because uh, that thing will be happen because the, uh, until these things taking place in Israel, nobody can shake Israel. No one can shake. Even after that, nobody can shake Israel. Don't think that Israel will be destroyed from the map. It will never be possible. No possible. I say, thus saith the Lord. Because that is the word of God. That is the Bible. Nobody can deny that. No God on the earth more than our God which is in the Bible. So therefore, uh, read the Bible and if you don't know, don't be panic. People are panicked today. They, they, they run away from uh, many, many countries. They think that third, third world war will break and many things will happen. Oh, of course, Brother Branham said about that. But uh, I don't believe those things. I believe in my Bible. Strongly, I believe. And secondarily, I believe Brother Branham's message, which is uh, from the, which is from the, right from the Bible. So therefore, it is not that what you think and what you believe. Actually, I tell you, nothing will happen because these two witnesses must must appear in uh, Israel and uh, the, the preparation is going on. 
rabbis in israel they believe that orthodox jewish jewish people are believing that and therefore they pray even you know uh, they are very very uh, you know what i can say very much uh, anticipating to see the messiah in their land they they have to hear first from the prophets these two prophets moses and elijah both of them will appear and they are under their ministry under their preaching under their preaching 144000 jews will be uh, you, you know sub, uh, tribe wise i can say tribe wise will be separated and they will receive the holy ghost baptism according to the bible and according to the message of brother william marian branham yes so this is very truth i have published in the in my past youtube and again i am publishing this youtube in order to uh, uh, bring the attention of the people on the particular subject on the particular subject that uh, israel will never be wiped away wiped out from the map no one can do that and uh, the, it is uh, it is impossible we know the history of israel how in every war war there uh, they they succeeded and defeated uh, the enemies and all those things so i i just want to read those quotes of brother branham to bring your attention that uh, those things are very wrong and that uh, people cannot uh, people don't know what is the prophecies are in the bible uh, concerning the israel they don't know concerning moses and elijah revelation chapter 11 the two witnesses are appearing in israel and under their ministry these things are taking place and those days are the tribulation period and i tell you it is a two prophets will receive the power from god and they will do many many things so therefore don't don't think that you know the the israel you know what you are seeing today all countries are get together or all, all muslim countries are get together and they are going to uh, war against the full scale war against the israel and all missiles will be flying out, uh, on their zone and uh, to their capital city of israel and destroy those people nothing will happen god interfere in this matter in this war god is standing with israel as god standing with the gentile bride church see god standing with the gentile bride church as well as god also stand with the israel because there will be a ministry will going to uh, going to come in the country called israel that ministry is nothing but moses and elijah's ministry two prophets will appear according to the bible oh why yes sir. so now what you are seeing is you know these wars and all going because they has to they have to uh uh war against their enemies that is the israel because uh, they are the people uh, taking the revenge against their enemies now i tell you why the, i also surprised to hear that uh, idf soldier speaking in that way then i i realized that i was just uh, refreshing my mind and i that uh, actually i was remembering the words of god in the bible how god remembering that his nation israel and again lord is that god is going back to that country after the work finished in gentile church and after gentile church fully raptured from the earth they go in the rapture then after that the next work next ministry will be going to uh, uh, going to happen in israel by these two prophets absolutely there is no doubt at all now listen here this is 1961 now in revelation 15 now i am reading the quotes of brother branham now in revelation 15 the remnant of the women seed which was the tribulation saints that went through the tribulation was found look standing on the sea and it was filled with the fire blood red blazes licking forth the fire of god they had gotten the victory over the beast that means rome over his number over the letter of his name and and over his image that means con- confederation of churches and had come out and through the preaching of moses and elijah listen through the preaching of moses and elijah those two prophets that will appear to israel to pull out the this this of groups group of people 
those tribulation period saints back in that time that will be brought in was Revelation chapter 61 William Branham now remember to preach the because the Gentile church is raptured at the will be raptured at the time no more the Gentile church will be uh, on the earth uh, uh, the left uh, left out from the Gentile church left out from the bride is only one is the saints who are the foolish virgins we call remnant and the Pope is full full scale war against the remnant one like uh, so, sorry the people who left out from the Gentile bride church so these uh, people will be in the tribulation you cannot number them from the whole world, uh, they will face the wrath of the Rome. They will face the wrath of the beast, the Rome, and uh, confederation of the churches. So, at the time, there will be a jubilee, there, there will be a revival in Israel under the preaching of Moses and Elijah. And uh, the saints, uh, you know, these, they, these are the foolish virgins, are there. See, the, listen, they will hear the preaching of Moses and Elijah, but they have no chance. They have to die, they will die. They will go and go to the grave and they will come up again in the second resurrection. That is what the Bible speaks about that. Now, I'm closely, I'm reading. Now, here you see, if, now again, I'm reading the course, if he lets this church coast through on just more theology, he would give them a favor and sign that he didn't permit to us. And if God is the same and is the same, he will do the same and act the same, each one of his children and to every generation, he has to be the same. If that was his sign in the day to the Jews, Samaritans, at the closing of their day, this is the closing of our day. The gospel returns again to the Jews pretty soon. Unquote. Listen, this, this is Brother Branham. Ah, Brother Branham said, William Branham, our Elijah, our Elijah, Gentile church Elijah. Now again I will read. If that was his sign in that day to the Jews, Samaritans, at the closing of their day, this is the closing of our day. The gospel returns again to the Jews, Jew, pretty soon. He is waiting right now for it, just waiting for the sign to appear to him. And then he will return, which Elijah and Moses will do that. Revelation chapter 11, you know, 61, 1961, Jesus. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Beautiful quotes. Now the, these are the very outstanding quotes where you cannot deny that, that uh, the Moses and Elijah, I believe 100 and more percentage, I believe that Moses and Elijah will have to come to Israel to do the ministry for the Jews, not for the Gentile. Gentile church is fully got over and there is no more anything, no more work. Holy Spirit will leave the Gentile church as the bride go in the rapture. The, there is no more work for the Holy Spirit and the foolish virgin will be left out. She will face more trouble in the days of tribulation, but that, that she has to run, run and run, go to Israel in order to be, in order to be protected. Because uh, in Moses and Elijah, they will do the many great ministries. They will order the uh, flies. They, they will, sorry, they will command the flies. They will command all kinds of plagues. Everything will come upon the earth. People will curse. People will have angry. See, these are the ministries of Moses and Elijah. And at the same time that uh, Moses and Elijah under their ministry, 144,000 will be separated. All right. Now listen here, another quotes I am reading. Oh yes. Then the gospel goes back to Jews. See, I am reading the quotes. Then the gospel goes back to the Jews right there at the time. Then there will be a revival amongst those Jews right there that will carry thousand and ten thousands and 144,000 into the kingdom of God will be sealed by the sealing angel. I trust that he is coming from the east. That is the way he is from us now. That is seat, a seal in his hand. Then, oh, I want to be gathered in there. 
I have sent persecution here and persecution there. And I have run the Jews and drove them as hard as I could. And they drove back in. Many Jews in the United States, which they won't escape from, has already received 54, 1954 questions and answer. Listen, this unquote, I am I'm, I'm telling you, they all come to their nest, homeland. They all come to their homeland. They all come to their own nation, Israel. They have received their own flag. They have their own army, own air force. They have their own navy. Everything that is the preparation of God. God made them very strong in among the whole, uh, among the among all other nations. Nobody can touch them. Nobody can touch them. Their one hair will not be fallen on the ground. Such a way, the Israel is becoming very strong nation. All right, I continue the course. The Holy Ghost is sorry, the Holy Ghost. But I have got all of the hundred and forty-four thousand standing there that going to receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Question and answer fifty-four. They will going to receive the what baptism of the Holy Ghost. So, my dear brothers and sisters. So, this is very outstanding course I read <coughs> uh, to, to remind you and to bring your faith on the Bible and on the message of Brother Branham. If you are not in the message of Brother Branham, all right, uh, God, will, uh, God will lead you. And uh, <coughs> I am telling you, don't waste your time. Study the Bible, study the message of William Branham. You will come to know because uh, this is a very short message to remind you that... Uh, uh, the, there will be a gos, there will, the, the gospel will be returning back to Israel and 144,000 will hear the message preaching of Moses and Elijah and there will be a great revival will going to break, break out and, uh, and, and uh, they will be baptized by the Holy Ghost. So that much I, I would like to tell you because after I heard that a soldier speaking that he is expressing his faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, soon after me you can hear that uh, soldier what he is speaking about the gospel. God bless you. As you've seen on the news, Hezbollah and Iran are planning a simultaneous coordinated attack against Israel. If there are any casualties, it will provoke a retaliation. I am a Jewish believer in Jesus, and I'm asking you, stand with me in prayer that our Prince of Peace, Jesus, will triumph over this conflict and restore peace and harmony to all nations.